Hardliners in the ZANU PF reject Nelson Chamisa's call for a bilateral conversation with President Mnangagwa. Hardliners in the ruling ZANU PF party have resisted opposition leader Nelson Chamisa of Zimbabwe's attempts to hold direct talks with President Emerson Mnangagwa regarding the nation's ongoing political turmoil. Since the contentious elections in August 2023, Chamisa, the head of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, has been advocating for communication with the Mingagwa, citing claims of vote manipulation and intimidation of his followers. Chamisa recently sent envoys to begin negotiations with the Mingagwa, but Hawks and the ZANU PF quickly put an end to the plan. Spokesperson for ZANU PF Christopher Mutsvangwa verified that Chamisa was notified by the ruling party that Vice President Constantino Chiwenga was the person to contact for any interactions with the president. But Chamisa hasn't gotten in touch with Chiwenga. Chamisa must use the vice president as the official channel, according to Mutsvangwa, who underlined that ZANU PF could not allow Chamisa to see Umningagwa personally. While engagement was not a problem, Mutsvangwa emphasized that the ruling party was unwilling to give the CCC the treatment of an exception. As the victorious party, ZANU PF feels that it should not give Chamisa special treatment and compromise its electoral mandate. Following the 2018 elections, President Umningagwa founded the Political Actors Dialogue POLAD as a forum for interacting with losing presidential candidates. But Chamisa rejected POLAD as a ZANU PF platform and declined to join. In spite of this, Chamisa declared that he has dispatched envoys to begin talks with Umningagwa emphasizing the need for a political settlement reached through talks in order to address the nation's complex problem. With ZANU-PF hardliners present, political observers expressed doubts about the likelihood of fruitful negotiations between Umingagwa and Chamisa in the absence of outside interference. Political analyst Eldred Masanungir said the odds were slim unless there was a mediator that both sides trusted, possibly one of the local leaders. Another analyst, Rejoice Nguenya, recommended that in order to bring leaders together and guarantee the inclusion of all important players in tackling the country's wider concerns, there should be engagement from a higher authority such as the Southern African Development Community SADC. After a contentious election in 2008, the late President Robert Mugabe was forced to hold talks with the late opposition leader Morgan Svangerai. Following the negotiations, a government of national unity GNU was established. And from 2009 to 2013, there was a semblance of political and economic stability. On the other hand, ZANU-PF has opposed talks of a different GNU. The impasse between Chamisa and Umingagwa demonstrates the severe political divisions in Zimbabwe and the difficulties in coming to an agreement on how to resolve the nation's crisis.